so excited because today's video is what every beekeeper, small or big, is waiting for. We are going to show you how to make your own bee queens with 13 easy steps. So stay tuned, make sure that you don't miss any step because every step is really important. The method we are going to show you is called the starter finisher method. Let me explain a little bit. We need a beehive without queen to start feeding our baby queen cells and one more beehive which is really really strong to finish the job that first bee started. So we will see it later together and also don't forget to subscribe and we would really like to know what you think about this video so leave us a comment in the comment section below. So let's get started. So first step is we need an empty 10 frame pot and somehow we need to transform it into a full frame pot. So how we do this? We use a block and we use these screws here, over here and here, to indicate us uh, where the limit of our four frames is. So how we did it with this, we put four frames, it showed us exactly where they were, and we tried to close it somehow. We use something to cover the empty space on the downside. We use this here, so it's ready. And it's ready to take the full frames. What the full frames are gonna be? Uh, it's gonna be one frame full of syrup. We will show you later. It's gonna be a frame with uh, our queen cells, uh, the ones that we transferred babies on them. It's gonna be pollen in one other frame. And uh, the last frame is gonna have some honey. And this is our start box. We need our queen cells to be prepared. This step is really important and uh, it has also a small trick that not everyone knows. A, a new one looks like this. But the problem is that uh, bees are not going to do so much work on a new one. If it's plastic one, it's something that they don't understand what it is. It's something foreign, it doesn't have smell. And they look uh, totally unfamiliar with it. So what we have to do is, one night before, we start uh, all our procedure. We put new ones into a bee, any bee, it doesn't matter, so that uh, it gets some smell. Uh, bees go at them, uh, they put some propolis on them, they put some smell on them, and then uh, these the queen cells, they are for proper use now. And today we're gonna take So now that we have collected them, and you can see the difference, this is a new one, and these are the ones that have been in a beehive for one day at least. It has, surely it has some propolis around. So now the bees can feel more safe using them, more familiar to them. It has some smell, it's not just a plastic thing. And that leads us to step number three. In step number three, we have to choose a, a beehive that is going to be a, a hive for the end of all the procedure. Uh, we will have the beehive start our procedure. It's the beehive in step one that we showed you. And uh, we need a strong beehive to be our final procedure beehive. We are already making some queens in the, the three floor beehive left. So our next strong one is uh, the two-floor beehive that 
number 15, if you can see. So we are heading to there, to that one, and uh, we need to collect two frames. One is going to be with uh, honey, and uh, one is going to be with uh, pollen. So let's head up to this. When we frame with honey, that will do it. Now we need to find one with pollen. Pollen is usually in the first block. Oh, bingo. One out of one. Can you see? It's full of pollen. All this way. And here's some honey. That will do. We need uh, babies, small babies, so we transform them to our queen cells and uh, we make amazing new queen. And uh, you want uh, these uh, babies to be from your strongest, your best bee. So, as you can see there, small one, <laughs> this is our best uh, bee. Okay, it sounds weird. This is uh, a parafiada. Parafiada means like I cut a small amount of bees to make a new bee from a really strong one. Uh, the strong one is not here, so but it has the babies of the strong one in there. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take newborn babies. Careful, you don't take eggs, you don't take also big uh, worms. You try to take uh, of as soon as the smallest worms you can. I have it marked here, it's in the middle. If you can see, I've marked it with an X here. You can mark some frames whenever you want. For step number five, we are gonna put in their positions these queen cells. As you can see, I'm using half frame of candle and I'm putting this layer here, but uh, you, you, there is no need to do this. You can just put uh, without candle an empty frame. And uh, also a small trick is that uh, if you put two layers, of uh, queen cells, uh, the bees uh, are gonna probably start uh, making queens on the up layer, not on the down layer. But now, here as you can see there is only one layer, so we won't have problems. And we are gonna put them all apart of one.
we're gonna keep one for step number six For step number six, uh, we're going to use one uh, queen cell and uh, we're going to put a little bit of water and we're going to use some royal jelly and uh, we're going to mix it. I'm going to use just a piece of a small plant and I'm going to mix it. The royal jelly, you should always keep it in a shadowy place, not sun you can see. And generally, the more fresh you use, the better. So we we mix it, and now we're gonna put some into our frames. All these procedures should be really fast. Step number seven. So from this point on, you have to be really fast in what you do because if you're in a sunny place, everything will be dry. We're going to be some royal jelly in every of our queen cells, really fast. And we're done. Stomach break. For this step, you need to be prepared for your whole life. You should have eaten lots of uh, fish and carrots, and generally not to be so old. What I try <laughs> to say is like, you need to have really good eyes to <laughs> see small babies. Take them with this tool and put them in your queen cells. I don't want big worms, I want tiny small worms like you can barely see with your eye. As soon as you catch it, you have to. As we said, you need to be really fast in all these procedures.
As soon as we are ready, step number nine. We are gonna put our four frames in the first box we prepared in step number one. So let's go. We're gonna put some syrup in a really old frame. Simple like this. As you can see, it doesn't go out. So much. <laughs> this should be enough. And we put it inside. So, let's see what we have here. One frame of syrup. One frame with pollen, one frame with honey, and one frame is going to be our queen cells. That we embolize. And we are ready for step number 10. Step number 10, we need to find the queen in our final beehive. There she is. So now that we have found her for so step number 10. For so step number 11, bees are separated into gatherers and into feeders. So for step number 11, we are going to find uh, feeders that usually are on frames uh, with eggs, feeding the eggs. And uh, we are gonna put uh, three of those of that population in there. As soon as we found the queen, we know the queen is here. Step number 12, 
uh, now that uh, we have our beehive ready, we have closed the door. It is sealed from every place. And for one day now, we need to put it somewhere with shadow and uh, leave it to make its magic. Uh, hopefully it will start feeding our queen cell to make us a new queen. So tomorrow, we're gonna be for step number 13. So here we are now, one day later. I also shaved. Uh, now the only thing we have to do is to shake the population back to the, our queen's uh, beehive, put our baby queen cells in there, and also put the septum. We have to find again the queen, or if you did it yesterday while you were trying to find the queen, you could put, put the septum there, so that uh, the queen can come up, destroy our new queen cell, and that's pretty much it. Also, let's see if we had any success. So now let's see our, if we were successful or not. What you're looking for here is first indication is if you see some propolis up here. Indication of our success is if you can see this yellow royal jelly in here. It's fresh. So now I'm gonna put it in there and uh, we have to leave it 10 days and then they will be ready and ready to put uh, them on uh, our new beehives. So that's it. I hope you will enjoy this video and we will be back with you with a new one.